Hello and welcome. This is the scene here in East London, in Stratford to be exact. We're at the London Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's West Ham United versus Nottingham Forest. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. The experienced Lukasz Fabianski stands between the posts. Angelo Ogbonna plays with Tilo Keira in central defence. Lukas Paqueta starts alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the striker today is Mikel Antonio. And here's how Nottingham Forest will line up. Keylor Navas begins in goal. Renan Lodi plays with Serge Aurier in the fullback positions. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Well, it still could be dangerous. And Chris Wood. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Morgan Gibbs-White. Gibbs White he read the situation defensively and did his job Said Benrama Rice with it Paqueta splendid defending and it needed to be Antonio it's a good-looking ball in behind. He might be able to make it through. And there it is! The breakthrough! That will do nicely! Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch-perfect. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. And underway again, it's West Ham in front. Remo Freuler. Renan Lodi. Moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. Oh, maybe the equaliser! Well, you have to say, he's going to be very cross with himself. He'll certainly be disappointed with that. That was a poor effort. Well, as you can see, West Ham haven't had that much of the ball. But when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. More defending for them to do here, though. A real opening now. A goal! Real excitement. A back-and-forth type of game. Now they're level. Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So back underway following the equaliser. 
Johnson. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Crossing into the middle. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Well, it's official now. The first 45 minutes have come and gone here at the London Stadium. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. Good looking pass. Delivering it into the box. Well, sadly, too straight to worry the goalkeeper that time. Dangerous looking attack. Doing well to keep possession. And the danger is averted. Counter attacking, very much this an option. Alex O'Neill, Alex O'Neill, can you please return to your vehicle? Your lights are on. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Well, we're into the final half hour. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Antonio. Rice. And a body in the way. Renan Lodi. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Ryan Yates. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Opportunity! Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Substitution for Nottingham Forest. Coming off the pitch, number 10, Morgan Gibbs White. They favoured a short one here. That's a nice looking ball. It didn't really work the keeper when all was said and done. Can they take advantage? Well, the atmosphere is so tense inside this stadium. But can they find that moment of magic to win this game? The crowd certainly thinks so. Just listen to them. It's not lost on them what a goal could mean at this late stage. A really vital interception. Big chance. Oh, can you believe it? With so little time left, surely that will be the winner. Amazing scenes here. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. But the keeper should do better at his near post. That's gone in far too easily. That's not good goalkeeping. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Jared Bowen. Freiler in possession. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Aurier. Well, no stopping him. This could finish it! Tenacious!
just touched. And that is going to be that. The referee blows the whistle and it brings this game to an end. Disappointment, you've got to say, for West Ham. Yes, Derek, there was very little in it for much of the game. I'm sure they feel they deserve a point at least. And it's obviously disappointing to concede in that manner so late on. But they just have to bounce back now. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positive, Stuart. Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today.